Breakfast time. We're on John 17. Yeshua said these words and lifted up his eyes to the heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Esteem your son so that your son also might esteem you. As you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give everlasting life to all whom you have given him. And this is everlasting life, that they should know you, the only true Elohim, and Yeshua Messiah whom you have sent. I have esteemed you on the earth, having accomplished the work you have given me that I should do. And now, esteem me with yourself, Father, with the esteem which I had with you before the world was. I have revealed your name to the men whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have guarded your word. Now they have come to know that all you gave me is from you, because the words which you gave to me I have given to them, and they have received them, and have truly known that I came forth from you, and they believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours, and all mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been esteemed in them. And I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. I come to you, set apart, Father, guard them in your name, which you have given me, so that they might be one as we are. When I was with them in the world, I was guarding them in your name, which you have given me. And I watched over them, and not one of them perished, except the son of destruction, that the scripture might be filled. And now I come to you, and I speak these words in the world, so that they have my joy completed in them. I have given them your word, and the world hated them, because they are not of the world, as I am not of the world. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the wicked one. They are not of the world, as I am not of the world. Set them apart in your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I also sent them into the world. And for them I set myself apart, so that they too might set apart in truth. And I do not pray for these alone, but also for those believing in me through their word, <clears throat> so that they all might be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, so that they too might be one in us, so that the world might believe that you have sent me. Psst. And this... And... The esteem which you gave me, I have given them, so that they might be one, as we are one. I in them, and you in me, so that they might be perfected into one. So that the world knows that you have sent me, and have loved them as you have loved me. Father, I desire that those whom you have given me might be with me where I am, so that they see my esteem which you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, indeed the world did not know you, but I knew you, and these knew that you sent me, and I have made your name known to them, and shall make it known, so that the love with which you loved me might be in them, and I in them. Having said these words, Yeshua went out with his taught ones, beyond Kidron Torrent, where there was a garden into which he and his taught ones entered. And Yehuda, who delivered him up, also knew the place, because Yeshua often met there with his taught ones. Yehuda, then having received the company of soldiers and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, came there with lanterns and torches and weapons. Yeshua then knowing all that would come upon him 
went forth and said to them, Who do you seek? They answered him, Yeshua of Nazareth. Yeshua said to them, I am. And Yehuda, who delivered him up, was also standing with them. When therefore he said to them, I am, they drew back and fell to the ground. Once more he asked them, Who do you seek? And they said, Yeshua of Nazareth. Yeshua answered, I said to you that I am. If then you seek me, allow these to go. In order that the word might be filled which he spoke, of those whom you have given me, I have lost none. Then Shimon Kepha, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear, and the servant's name was Malek. And Yeshua said to Kepha, Put your sword into the sheath. Shall I not drink the cup which my father has given me? Then the company of soldiers and the commander of the officers of the Yehudim seized Yeshua and bound him. And they led him away to Hanan first, for he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. Now Caiaphas was the one who gave counsel to the Yehudim that it was better that one man should die for the people. And Shimon Kepha followed Yeshua with another taught one, and the taught one was known to the high priest, and went with Yeshua into the courtyard of the high priest. But Kepha was standing outside at the door. So the other taught ones, who was known to the high priest, went out and spoke to her who kept the door, and brought Kepha in. Then the servant girl who kept the door said to Kepha, Are you also one of the man's taught ones? He said, I am not. And the servants and officers who had made a fire of coals stood there, because it was cold, and they warmed themselves. And Kepha was standing with them, and warming himself. Then the high priest asked Yeshua about his taught ones and his teaching. Yeshua answered him, I spoke openly to the world. I always taught in the congregation in this set-apart place, where the Yehudim always meet, and I spoke no word in secret. Do you, why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard me and what I said to them. See, they know what I said. And when he had said this, one of the officers who stood by slapped Yeshua in the face, saying, You answer the high priest this way? Yeshua answered him, If I have spoken evilly, bear witness of the evil. But if well, why do you strike me? Then Hanan sent him bound to the high priest Caiaphas. And Shimon Kepha was standing and warming himself. Then they said to him, Are you also one of his taught ones? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest, a relative of the one whose ear Kepha cut off, said, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Then Kepha again denied it, and immediately a cock crowed. Then they led Yeshua from Caiapha to the palace, and it was early. And they themselves did not go into the palace, lest they should be defiled, but that they might eat the Pesach. Pilate therefore came out to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered and said to him, If he were not an evil doer, he would not have been delivered we would not have delivered him up to you. Then Pilate said to them, You take him and judge him according to your law. The Yahudim said to him, It is not right for us to put any one to death, in order that the word of Yeshua might be filled which he spoke, signifying by what death he was about to die. Then Pilate went back into the palace and called Yeshua and said to him, Are you the sovereign of the Yehudim? Yeshua answered him, Do you say this from yourself, or did others talk to you about me? Pilate answered, Am I a Yehudi? Your own nation and the chief priests have delivered you to me. What did you do? Yeshua answered, my reign is not of this world. If my reign were of this world, my servants would fight, so that I should not be delivered to the Yahudim. But now my reign is not from here. Then Pilate said to him, 
You are a sovereign then, Yeshua answered. You say it because I am a sovereign. For this I was born, and for this I have come into the world, that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Pilate said to him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again to the Yehudim and said to them, I find no guilt in him. But you have a habit that I shall release someone to you at the Pesach. Do you wish then that I have released to you the sovereign of the Yehudim? Then they all shouted again, saying, Not this one, but Baraba. And Baraba was a robber.